Thank you very much, David. All right, Kel, great homestand. You guys sweep three in a row. How about the way your team is playing right now, Kel? Man, unbelievable job tonight, you know, a uh, full team committee. I think almost everybody had 10 points to that end, but uh, I think we did a great job just locking in on defense, trying to limit them to one shots, playing together, and uh, we came out with the win, so good job. Sure did. How about your performance here tonight? We, in the free game show, we showed all your no-look passes behind the back. How about the rhythm you have with your teammates right now, Kel? Uh, unbelievable. I think they're doing a great job of running the floor with me, uh, getting open spots, and they know I'm going to try to find them, so uh, they're doing a good job of finishing those shots and finishing those plays, and uh, we're just having fun out there, so it's just fun to be able to do that and, and do it together. We knew you had this in you. You knew you had this in you. 54 consecutive games right now. How are you feeling? How about the rhythm you're in right now? Man, I feel amazing. I just give all the glory to God just to be able to come out here, play the game I love, and be healthy. All right, most importantly, I've been hiding this. Oh, so come on, give us your thoughts on this. I like it, man. It's a nice. You know, I got a lot of fans talking about it, but uh, it's pretty cool to have my own bobblehead. You know, something I had a dream of. So to be able to have this and to support fans here and have them something to have is pretty cool, though. Nice little ball we're here. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. All right, what's the goal of the last seven games, Markel? Just keep it going, right? Yeah, continue to compete, continue to build on the bigger picture that we have, play Magic Basketball. Awesome job. We're happy for you. Keep up the great work, Cal. Right, All right, you got it, man. Yeah. All right, you got it. Well, you take it if you want. That's yours. <laughs> In tonight's win, Jalen Suggs joining us right now. And, Jalen, welcome back. It's great to have you back. How did you feel out there? And how about your contribution out there? Eight players in double figures. I love the balanced approach tonight. Oh my guys, it's always good to see y'all. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a great night. Uh, you know, we shared the ball. Um, you know, like Coach said, uh, you know, we, we got it done in the paint. You know, we were spraying out for threes, knocking down open looks, uh, being aggressive, and just playing with the flow. Uh, I think when we play with rhythm like that, um, you know, offensively, uh, you know, we play really well. Show tonight, and uh, yeah, led to a great win. Jalen, was was there a concerted effort tonight to try and get in the paint, to score in the paint, as a as opposed to settling for early threes? Uh, yeah, you know, just understanding that when we get in the paint, it causes a problem. Uh, you know, whether it's for our own uh, to get a bucket or to spray out, let somebody else score, uh, or get another drive off of somebody's closeout. You know, and then we're forcing them into scramble situations, and it just puts our offense in a better situation. So, yeah, I think we did a great job of it tonight and locking in, and uh, you know, not taking what the defense was giving us. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to be in drop coverage. Um, you know, so not settling for you know too many of those long tools. Uh, uh, you know, the shots that they want us to take and you right. know, getting what we want. Well, Jalen, you're always stellar defensively. You looked fresh tonight. I know we hated to lose you those last four games, but offensively, you can do it there, too. What was your mindset? What has been your approach, your mindset on the offensive end? You're really all year, and especially tonight. Um, you know, it's good when I can just play in the flow and the rhythm. Uh, you know, over the past past couple of days I've been out, um, you know, just getting some bump, playing some ones, uh, live looks, and just uh, hooping for real. I think, I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, not trying to be robotic, being a boxer, uh, you know, hold myself down, just, you know, play free, uh, be in that flow state, and, uh, you know, Brett, take what the game is giving me. You know, I think I did that tonight. My teammates found me a couple of times. I was able to get on transition and, uh, you know, find some open guys. So I think I did a great job along with my teammates. Uh, you know, eight of us in double figures is special, uh, you know, and to get a win on top of that is always great. Well said. Well, well, Dante and I thought you might be in, in mourning a little bit today, and you might not have a great game because of the Zags' effort last night. Uh yeah, I'm heartbroken. We felt for you. Felt for you, Jalen. I'm heartbroken still. Shout out all my guys. <laughs> Love y'all. Uh, y'all had a great season. Uh, you know, yes, I'm holding it down did. for y'all, but yeah. Well, I got to get your thoughts on this. I don't know how well you can see this, but we had uh, Markel yeah, Fultz bobblehead night yeah, tonight, right? What do you, yeah, You've had your own, too. What do you think of this? A pretty good job they did. And uh, it's fire still. I told it like, I was talking to his mom. She said they just missed the tattoos, so they're going to have a little arts and crafts night <laughs> feel the tattoos in. I understand they're still, you know, when they put mine out, I'm a, I'm a blink canvas, so they had nothing to put on. So. But, no, nah, it's fire, though. It's fire, though. Good times. That's awesome. All right, lastly, we love what you're doing. There's a buzz in this city. You already have 10 more wins than last year. That's the biggest win increase in the Eastern Conference. How much do you appreciate how you guys continue to battle here down the stretch? A whole lot. You know, and it's funny that you said it because I was just talking to G, uh, you know, towards the end of the game. Uh, then the last couple of minutes I said, uh, you know, it just, it feels a lot different than last year, uh, you know, understanding that we can be competitive and win, you know, every game that we're coming into, you know, and it's a different mindset from, you know, trying to build, get everybody's rhythm and get our chemistry going, um, you know, and kind of build an identity to we have the identity. Now it's be consistent, doing it every night basis and, you know, continue to win and perform for ourselves, for the city, um, you know, so that we can achieve the goals that we set out for each other. So, uh, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, you know, we're not done. Uh, right. You know, we're not out of things. So continuing to take it day by day and, you know, go get it. I love it. Jalen, you're playing great, but just do us one favor. 
Just stay I got healthy yeah. for the final seven <laughs> yeah. games of the year, you. please. I got you. I got, you. Please. I got you. We're on the same page as that one. <laughs> awesome, awesome. It's always great to have you back. Great to talk with you, Jalen. Congrats on the win tonight. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Coach, you had eight players in double figures. You got 30 assists. Uh, you know, how much did you like the, the balanced offense tonight uh, against the Nets? I think that's great. The, the ability to share the basketball and obviously guys made shots, but our just willingness to trust the pass. Um, you know, obviously in the first half, it was it stuck a little bit. You know, we turned it over. But I think down the stretch, we did a great job of moving it, sharing it and trusting each other. You know, pregame, we talked about Jalen's energy. You know, what did you see out of him in, in his return tonight? I thought he was great. You know, obviously defensively what he brought to the table, you know, his physicality, getting over and under screens. Uh, but I think offensively, I really thought his pace was really good. He never got himself sped up. He was making the right play, right decision. Uh, he just let the game come to him, you know, which is what, you know, that's signs of growth. And being able to watch film with our coaches in the time that he was out, I think it's just huge. Coach, congrats on the win tonight. Four or five for your team, three in a row at home here. There's a lot of people outside of your team that may say that it's uh, counterproductive to win games at this point in the season, given your placement in the standings. What do you have to say to those people? Winning is counterproductive. That, that, in terms of standings for the lottery. Um, I, you know, at the end of the day, I just we just want these guys to understand what it means to play meaningful basketball, uh, what it means to be in tight games, tight situations, and how to figure out how to win. Um, you're asking a young group to grow, to get better, to understand how they've got to come down the, in crunch time and play, and they're doing that. I mean, you ask a young group to grow, and that's what these guys have done, and can, they're going to continue to do. Which you look at a lot of young teams finishing out the season, not a lot of them are doing what you guys are doing, racking up a lot of wins to end the season. Some say it's like a comparison to those Phoenix Suns from the bubble where they won eight straight, went on to be a number one seed the next season. Uh, obviously, that's pretty high hopes, but what does it get to say to the, um, the ability that this team has coming next season in terms of what you guys are looking like right now? Well, the great part about it is just like we'll say it, you know, win or loss, you know, we stay in the moment and just recognize that we have to just keep getting better, keep improving. How do we get guys better? How do our guys learn to continue to play with one another? And like tonight, by doing it by committee, that's the message that we continue to descend. Eight guys in double figures, 30 assists. Obviously, there's things that we got to clean up that we've talked about, you know, the offensive rebound for them, making sure we finish plays with the small details. But our guys' ability to do it together is the most important thing for this group. Going back to Jalen, you mentioned us offense. Just how have you seen him grow on that end of the floor offensively you know, from the beginning of the season till now? Well, I think tonight was just a level of pace, uh, the, the pace in which he played. You know, he was not sped up. He was able to, you know, find pockets to get to the basket. And then when he didn't have the basket, he was looking to make the right decision. I think there was a stretch in that third that put the ball in his hands up top and he was making the right play. So I think those are just signs of growth uh, on the offensive end. And then defensively, you know, we're going to continue to ask him to be as tenacious as he can be on the ball. Coach, you, we talked about eight players being in double figure mm -hmm. scoring tonight. Uh, Franz started a little bit slow, looked a little gimpy at one point. Uh, maybe the ankle was bothering him a little bit, but he had, he had six points in the first half. I believe he had 13 in the second half. Uh, what did you tell him at halftime to sort of get him going in, there in the second half? Well, I, I, with Franz, because he, you know, he has such a high basketball IQ, it, it, he's reading the game, reading how teams are playing him. And as, at this, as the second half went on, he started to register what was going on. And I think that was a big portion of it, looking for the certain opportunities. And the other side of it, we got stops. And a lot of those were us being able to get out on the break to run. So speaking of Jalen Suggs, obviously a performance like today, how does it help him build for the end of the season and moving forward with you guys? And what does he add to the team when he's healthy? I mean, when he's healthy, you know, he adds that level of defense, you know, getting into the basketball, guarding some of the best guys, being physical, you know, just that level of, you know, tenacity that he plays with and offensively just being able to play at a certain place, getting downhill, stepping into, into a shot with confidence. I think those levels of continued growth for him are going to be huge. Jules holding a Markel bobblehead over there. How do you think it? How do you think it came out, and, and what that likeness is like? Am I allowed to comment on that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. 
I mean, he's moving his head and like he had, had to move the other night, the spin move to the dump off to Wendell. That kind of was a similar situation, how he was moving. But no, that's great. Um, you know, the support in the building has, has, has continued to be great. Uh, we just got to keep our fans going. And, you know, 3-0 and on the homestand, that's, that's very huge uh, for us. And so now we just got to go on the road and, you know, continue to defend the way that we have been.